So everyone's been asking me how I do that warrior thing with my hair, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take a couple seconds. Wait, let me rephrase that. Not a couple seconds, I'm gonna take it some time today to do it on camera, and I'll show you from the back, so you can see how it's done. It's so simple, and it looks really fucking cool, so. I need a comb. I need styling gel, because I foolishly washed my hair last night, and you know when your hair's too clean, then it doesn't really help you when you're trying to do braids and stuff? So I have this styling cream, which is one of my favorites that I use for my girlfriend. And then over here, I have a little box of goodies, which has got a bunch of these little rubber bands in and some bobby pins if I need it. So, first things first, I'm gonna squirt a bunch of this stuff into my hand, rub it in my palms, and then I'm just gonna wipe it through my hair. Because if it's too fluffy, I get all these flyaways. So. Nice grease ball look here. That's what we're going for. Boom. Hey. So now that that's done, I'm gonna go back to that first step. So grabbing a little triangle, connecting finger to finger, and then separating all the rest of the hair. And I grab this comb just to keep it nice and neat. Pull it up. And now I grab one of those bands and make it nice and tight at the top. And if you have long hair, then you should probably grab a clip because you're gonna need it. Once you've done your one little thing, give it a little pull. And now I'm gonna put this professional in my mouth. And then I'm gonna grab, I should probably speak first, the even amount of space either side, uh, right here on my temples, and then do the same thing up here. Trying to create straight lines so that I'm gonna get lower and lower and lower. So I'm gonna do a bunch of these. So now I've explained. Back in the mouth. Mm -mm -mm. And then again, grab the comb. Make it pretty neat. Because I'm gonna make it a little bit messier. If I wasn't doing a workout today, I probably wouldn't put any styling gel on my hair and I'd let it be all fluffy and all cute and like wispy and stuff. But that's not the look I'm going for when I'm about to be sweating my tits off for beyond. So now I've done that again. I'm gonna tie it tight. I have to close my eyes. Now, I've had some comments from my friends that have sat in my chair and they've said that, uh, I'm better at hair than I am at fitness, and that's saying something, you know? So as you see, I have this little ponytail here, another one here, it's gonna connect these together, push them forward, and then I'm gonna keep going. So now I'm gonna go to my ears, hopefully connect those fingers, like so, and now I'm gonna stay this way, because you're gonna be able to tell what I'm doing from the back now. I'm just brushing it up so my hair doesn't look all bumpy and messy. So it's going in the right direction. Who's with me? So I'm gonna 
grab this little bump that I have here that's not too high, flatten it down, and put myself a nice little bobby pin in there. Boom. And I know you can see it right now, but once I've done what I'm gonna do, which is a pull through braid, that whole part is gonna be gone. So here we go. Now as you see, all these little ponytails, step number one is gonna grab that top one, and I'm gonna divide it in two. Once I've divided it in two, and then grab, go, blah, 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 blah. I'm then gonna grab the next little ponytail and pull it through. And then I'm gonna grab those two halves that I made and I'm gonna tie them up underneath that ponytail that I pulled through. Like so. And you want it to be tight, but not too tight, because we can always make them looser. Boom. Now this one gets added to this one and two become one. All right, so it should look like this. And now I'm gonna turn around so you can see from the back. And now I'm gonna split that whole bunch in half. Kind of make it nice and neat. And I'm gonna grab the next ponytail and I'm going to pull it through. And then I'm gonna attach those two halves underneath that one. So on and so forth. Boom. 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 And then guess what? You guessed it. All of that bunch now becomes, three becomes one. And as you see, I now split this all in half. Grab the next pony, pull it through. Grab another band. Tie it underneath. <clears throat> and the thicker your hair, the cooler this looks. So now I've got one more, and I'm gonna grab this all, divide it in half, grab that rat's tail, boom, pull it through, tie this guy, boom. And now, oh look at that. That looks like shit, doesn't it? Don't worry, <coughs> don't fret. I'm gonna grab a bobby pin and tie her down. Where's it coming from? Oh, I see you. Boom. So now it looks all tight and strange. Well, all those halves that I wrapped around the pony, I'm gonna come back down and pull. The next one, I'm gonna pull. The next one, I'm gonna pull. The next one, I'm gonna pull. And now I'm gonna keep going and just like rough it up. I can't really see anything from the back, so I hope to God it looks good. But on the front, I'm not gonna lie. <coughs> I made the first one too small and the second one too big. So as you see, there's a little bit of a gap, but this is where you can start to tease, grab some hairspray, whoa, what is going on with my throat? <coughs> and then you can just like clip it together, not make it look so messy, or make it look messier, depending on what look you're going for. So if you grab one of those wide um, bobby pins, which Obviously, I don't have, but there you go. A good thing to do here is to, for example, this weird thing up top, I have claws on. Nails are not good for the bobby pins. How it's separated like this. If I had a wide bobby pin, I would just pull it together. I can't see what I'm doing. But grab my bobby pin and just push it in. Did that work? Yeah. And then I can create a little bit more body, more shape. And then you're like, oh, well, what do we do with this last bottom part down here? What do we do? Well, we have choices. We can either let it be and let it be strange, or you see how there's two separate pieces? You could create another one. Wrap this around here, tie it again, pull it, and then wrap it in the bottom. Or if you have long hair, like when my hair used to be really long, I would do this down to the bottom of the head, and then I would grab a bunch of bobby pins, I mean bands, and make these little bunches, tie it all together, and then come back around and be like, what's that? Boom. And obviously now I've got shorter hair, so it doesn't work as well. But that, that's it. Pull through braid, that took, I don't know, not very long, and I was talking you through it. It's really easy, really simple. All you need are bobby pins. You don't need clean hair. If you have dirty hair, even better. Um, some styling gel or some hairspray.
Yeah. Now with it like Thanks for watching.